Don't forget to check out our website where you can find the latest download, install, and migration guides and videos. In this video, we're going to take a look at the mill turn enhancements found in Mastercam 2025. The first thing we'll take a look at is new machine configurations for mill turn. Let's take a look in Mastercam. This file already has a job completed. I'm going to go into the job setup. I have customized work holding. If I go into my tool manager, I can see that I already have tools loaded in both turrets. If this is a common configuration that I use repeatedly, I can now save this away. In the past, I would have to make a template file to do this. Now it's just part of the job setup. In my job setup, on the machine configuration, I can choose to save this as a machine configuration. I can have multiple configurations saved. I'm going to choose where I want to put this file. Name it. I can add comments and I can choose which components I want to include. I'm going to include them all. Now, if I grab a new file, This file is currently empty. It's got a basic setup done, but no tools are loaded. I go into my job setup. I can load a machine configuration. It's just got default chucks. I can choose what I want to bring in. I will bring in my custom chuck jaws. Now my file has the custom work holding and all the tools loaded as they were from my configuration save. Mastercam 2025 introduces mill turn support for Y axis turning. Let's take a look in Mastercam. I'm going to start in the tool manager. I have some 3D tools defined. These with the Y symbol are defined for y-axis turning. If I edit the tool and edit the holder, I can see that when this tool was defined, it was defined as a y-axis tool. This is what drives the y-axis support. All my tool paths are exactly the same. So for instance, I could face this, and if I pick this tool, it's not defined for y-axis, That would be my normal XZ cutting. If I do another cut and choose a Y axis tool, this tool has multiple cutting definitions, so I can choose which one I want to use. On this case, I'll use the primary. Things look basically the same in Mastercam, but when I go to simulation, I see we'll see that I'm using Y and Z axis instead of X and Z. I'll finish this contour right away too. I'll use the same tool, but this time I'll use the other cutting definition. For most traditional X axis tools, only 0 and 180 degrees will be used, but other will frequently be used for Y axis turning. In this case, I'll go negative 30 degrees. You can see my 30 degree tilt. Let's take a look at this in machine simulation. I'll hide my machine housing. First I'll see the XZ cut and now I will see the YZ cutting. Y axis, if your machine supports it, can give you more rigid cuts. Mastercam 2025 also introduces A-axis turning. Users already familiar with B-axis turning will notice that it is a very similar toolpath. It just utilizes the Y-axis tools. Let's take a look in Mastercam. I now have both B-axis contour and A-axis contour. I'm going to chain my part and all the settings are going to look very similar to the b-axis contour except for when I pick my tool I notice that it only looks at the y-axis tools 
as shown by the Y there next to the tool. I can set my lead and lead outs. I'm just going to use the automatic tool axis control. So basically I just picked my tool and I'm going to take the default settings. If I back plot this, I can see that it automatically tilts my tool during the cut so I can reach all these features with just one tool. The vectors are editable. It basically functions the same way as the B axis contour, only using Y axis and A. We can also take a look in simulation. I do want to note that both the Y axis turning and the A axis turning would require edits to existing machine environments. I'm going to turn off the housing. I'll zoom in a little bit. First it'll run my roughing. I'm just going to drag the slider along. And now I can take a look at the A-axis contour. The turning B-axis toolpath also sees enhancements in Mastercam 2025. The first enhancement basically takes place in the background. The toolpath now has better spline geometry handling. At the same tolerance, we can realize much better finishes. These pictures show the B-axis contour in previous versions compared to 2025 cutting the same part at the same tolerance. Let's take a look in Mastercam for the next enhancement. I'm going to add a B-axis contour to this part. I'm going to take the default settings. When I backplot this, the automatic doesn't always do the best on sharp corners in some areas. Let's take a look at what's been added. On the basic control page, I can now add a tool angle control. I can say, for instance, try to maintain 60 degrees at the trailing edge. And they've also added a fan distance. This is to help with dealing with sharp corners. Sometimes sharp corners can result in a large tilt rotation in a short period of motion. This I can say give it, for instance, 0.25 millimeters on either side of the corner to more slowly tilt the tool to give me smoother motion. This new enhancement just gives me yet another way to help control my tool tilt easily and gives me, I can see as I s a little bit more slowly tilt as I come across there, my sharp corners. And the last enhancement we'll look at at mill turn is we get a new job setup warning when we make changes that affect our POCO routine. Let's take a look. So this job has already been processed, but I'm gonna go into my job setup and I'm gonna edit my pickoff position. I'm gonna change this to 3.8 inches. This is gonna affect my entire transfer. When I make changes that affect my transfer, this part's already programmed, there's already a POCO in here, it'll warn me that this is going to affect my boundaries and a bunch of stuff. I can now click yes and it'll delete the POCO routine or no and it'll keep it, but the POCO routine will be wrong. So I'll hit yes and then it'll delete my POCO routine, which makes my ops go dirty as well. Now I can rebuild my pickoff cutoff operation and regenerate my ops. And this concludes our fifth and final video covering mill turn enhancements in Prototex Mastercam 2025 rollout presentations. Make sure to check out our other videos and thanks for watching.